Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about my thoughts on Idris Elba talking about he doesn't want to be described as a black actor or a black this or a black that. And I've been wanting to talk about this ever since I first read that because I, I was just like shocked and very disappointed in everything being a black man and that myself and a fan of his and everything like you know like he starred in luther and i love that show you know the movie's coming out next month in america and this month in the uk and you know i've been trying to like rattle this around my brain trying to figure out and then he clarified his statements which he didn't do a good job clarifying all he did was double down on everything he said just restated it differently and he didn't clarify like nothing. And so after doing some research on him, cause I've actually never researched him before. I've just like watched him in movies and TV shows. And like, I found out he's been married three times. His second wife only lasted for six weeks. Like what the world? <laughs> he has an older daughter and stuff. And it's like, oh wow, I never knew that. And so I, he lives a very private life, but there's some other stuff I started researching kind of contradicts stuff that he said in the past and kind of doesn't. He changes his mind all the time. Like after his second wife, he said he'll never get married again. And boom, he's married to a third woman and stuff. And, you know, it's, it's, it's just kind of hard because, you know, I've seen and heard stuff like this from other black celebrities and there's a phrase for it. It's called smelling yourself itis. <laughs> it's basically when a black um, celebrity gets up in life and you know they start making some money, they start to smell themselves and everything. And then they turn their back on their own community. Many celebrities have done that. Raymond Simone, Terry Crews, Tyrese Gibson, Morgan Freeman, you know, um, even like a bunch of rappers and stuff like Lil Wayne and stuff, you know, it's just that's what they do when they start to get up there in life and everything. And, you know, I just wanted to give my thoughts on it, why it disappointed me. And also because it seems now that all the toxic YouTube channels are coming out talking about Idris Elba has destroyed woke hollywood and everything i'm just like oh you gotta be kidding me i knew that was gonna happen you know what i'm saying because not only this bad timing for his movie coming out in the uk this month and america next month but he said this crap during black history month however he actually said this many years ago about playing james bond it's just people didn't really pay attention to what he said and stuff and a lot of other people probably just didn't like no and he has stated that he knows he is a black man and all this other stuff and he's part of the black community whether or not he likes being black or part of the black community i honestly don't know that's for like him to clarify he needs to clarify that but like honestly i don't know because when you read a lot of his statements it seems like it will go in that direction because of other celebrity, but then again, nobody truly really knows because he is a very private person. And he clarified it the very next day, mainly because it left people to speculate in everything. Because like lots of people were speculating, other people was praising him, and you know, and also probably his PR team is like, dude, your movie's coming out. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> and so he clarified it. He was pretty angry when he had to clarify himself. But once again, he only doubled down. And, you know, my thing about him is this. I like him as an actor. He's cool. Like, here's the thing. No matter what this man says, he is a black actor, Period. Because one, he's a man, therefore he's an actor. Two, he is black, therefore he is just a black actor by association, generalization. He just is. You can't escape that. Just like Raven Simone can't escape being black, even though she thinks she's like, you know, dark white and everything. It's just one of those things that you just get labeled with. And I've seen a lot of people online white people of course justifying what he's saying because there's, there's a couple of people who justify what he's saying one white people two different kind of white people first white people of course 
the bigots, the, the toxic people, the ones who scream woke, the ones that want Hollywood to go back to being predominantly white and everything. Then you have a couple of black people who responded positively to what he said, because those are the ones that normally show disdain towards their own race and everything. There are tons of black people like that. Then you had just the rando people, doesn't matter what they look like, who just love him as an actor and want to have his baby. And so, like, you know, I haven't seen nobody of, like, another race be upset with what he said, mostly just black people. He basically set the internet on fire <laughs> and stuff. Because a lot of people are very shocked by what he said, you know, like... They was not expecting that one during Black History Month and two to come from him because he is such an established actor. And he is great at what he does. You can't deny that, you know? And so, like, in the article, which I'm not going to read word from um, word, I hate when YouTubers do that. It's like, dude, I can see the letters on this screen. I know how to read. <laughs> so I'm not going to read word from word. I'll paraphrase and I'll give like my opinion. Basically, he said recently, he pretty much stopped describing himself as a black actor once he realized it put him in a box and he did not want that. He goes on to talk about race and skin color, talking about it's just skin and people need to look past that and um, from what and who the person is. And then he keeps talking about like his own perspectives on racism. He mentions that he is um, part of the black community and everything. And, but he realized people in general, especially in Hollywood, are obsessed with race and that, you know, racism does exist. He realizes that, but, um, what is it? I'm trying to remember. Um, but his perspective, you know, race is only as strong as you make it to be. So then that made people started to think he's starting to sound like Morgan Freeman. When Morgan Freeman's all like, you want to get rid of racism, just stop talking about it. Stop calling me a black man. I'll stop calling you a white man. The thing about that statement is we're not there in society yet. The world has been around for billions of years and humans have been around for millions of years. And people are still just as hateful and prejudiced as they were back in the day as they are now. And so we are just not there in the society to like stop talking about the past and racism and hate and all that other stuff. I mean, we're human. We still mess up and people are messing up daily. I mean, look at Ron DeSantis and everything. He just banned more books from black authors and stuff and talking about black people. He is racist and he's also trying to be president. He's trying to appeal to white conservatives. And it's gonna work. But the thing is, is like, you gotta have some my, uh, majority of the black vote. I don't think he'll get most of it. However, one thing I have learned from Anna Navarro from The View, she's the Hispanic lady who is Republican. <laughs> and like, um, she's mentioned that, you know, down in Miami, Hispanics vote Republican. And I bet you a lot of other races vote Republican too, like Asian and Native American and stuff like that, which explains how certain like conservative, like, you know, Republicans become president because a lot of people are confused when they become president. And so you don't always need the black vote, but it helps and everything. And so like... My thoughts on Idris Elba talking about, you know, like he also about race, he said that we need to start looking at our similarities and not our differences. And he is true about that. We do need to see why we are similar. Martin Luther King, you know, um, he had a dream that, you know, one day like little black kids and white kids, you know, and stuff like that. And like, like, I, like I even I said before on my channel. We are all pretty much born for the most part the same. We bleed, we laugh, we cry, you know, we get angry, we get happy. Every person is born generalized talking pretty much the same way. It's only whatever community you live in, those are the traits you take on in your speech pattern and your personal behavior and stuff, your personality. But here's the thing, even though we are similar, we are also different at the same time because not everybody is treated the same. Not everybody looks the same. Um, you know, and it's just like, you know, like people of different races have different health problems than other people. 
black people are more likely to get cancer if they eat barbecue food I read one time and higher cholesterol and stuff and you know don't even get me started on like products for like you know your face and your hair and all this other stuff because we are technically different our skin tones tan differently like black people can withstand um, the sunlight a whole lot better than white and whites can withstand the cold weather more than blacks and stuff. It's just how our pigmentations are. And, you know, so you have to realize there are differences within the similarities and everything. And I do agree with him, you know, we are similar and we need to strive to be one as a whole. But, you know, bottom line is we are differently. Just like we know all these Black Lives Matter protests, a black person is more likely to either get harassed by a cop or thrown to the ground by a cop or killed by a cop than that of any other race, especially that of white and everything. And so you just can't look past that. Like you really can't. And just like when you see all this stuff happening in the news with all these protests and all these hate speeches and like, you know, like, like I told you, like the whole anti-vax people, like, you know, shaking on YouTube and Twitch and um, TikTok, talking about, oh, the vaccine's making me shake. It's all lies. And it all comes from one race <laughs> and everything. And, you know, that t and it's just like, you know, when you analyze people, there are some races, yes, that will commit a crime more than others. There are some races that will do one thing more than like the others, you know, and that is because we are simply different. Like take black people and swimming. There's no joke about that. A lot of black people just don't know how to swim. And it's because, you know, pools weren't made available for us back in like the segregated days of the 1950s. Our pools were dirty and like disgusting and people didn't go there to learn. And, you know, there's a reason why a lot of black people are scared of cops and take off running when they did absolutely nothing because they're scared and they fear. Same way with like dogs and everything, how dogs were trained to sick on black people back in like the day. We are different and sometimes people do it out of reaction and don't even realize they do it. I would love for people to move on to where they don't have to talk about race to where you know people don't see color and stuff like that but sadly we just aren't there in society and you know what in the next couple of billion years we probably still won't be there in society because people are allowed to be hateful and people are allowed to be racist and as long as they're still allowed to do what they're doing we will never have that unity in everything and that is why you have have to call people out on their BS and everything. When you see people oppressing people, when you see people hating on people for no reason, they need to be addressed. They need to be called out. Their peers need to know that, you know, there's a problem within their community and stuff. And, you know, one of the things that I love seeing these last couple of years is seeing non-black celebrities actually get it like they get it you know what i'm saying and they are supporting now black people in ways they've never done before because they didn't even realize hey there was a problem or they just overlooked it this one actress from like his dark material like she has black friends she has black co-stars and she said while she is not black because she's not she's like two different races she said that she's an ally of black people and guess what her white fans attacked the crap out of her online, called her all kind of names and stuff. And that lets you know you just can't let this go. You can't just forget about it. You can't just stop talking about it. Jody Sweden from Full House, like, you know, she protests is everything for black rights. Um, she's been at Black Lives Matter protests. She's been for like LGBT protests. She's been for um, I don't know if she's been in those protests, but she has supported them. And she's been for, like, you know, women's bodies and stuff. And the cops threw her on the ground, too, and everything. But as white as she is, she gets it because she has had been through so much in her life from a drug addiction after she was doing Full House years ago. She was even born in a prison. So she has been through a lot, and she sees a lot, and she gets it. And it's sad that... Idris can't like see it, you know what I'm saying? 
I think deep down inside he has some type of animosity towards like not necessarily all black people around the world but there is some type of this stain for him to want to disassociate himself as being called a black actor or a first black this and that because in another statement like I said before he said he stopped considering himself a black actor when he saw that it put him in a box who in the world put him in the box? I don't know exactly who put him in the box. I think he has an ego problem, which I'll get into that a little bit later because he's pretty full of himself and everything. And so who exactly put him in that box? Nobody I really ever knew ever called him like a black actor. The only time black ever got associated with his name was with the whole James Bond, which I saw in an article I never knew about on BET many years ago, where he said, don't call him the first black James Bond. He doesn't want to be known that. And then he goes on to talk about, you know, Daniel Craig isn't considered the first blue eyed James Bond. I have heard people call Daniel Craig the first blonde James Bond. Then he's talking about, um... What's that Scottish dude name who died? Ah, oh, forget his name. Really good actor. Um, oh, God, he was in the Highlander movie. Um, he was James Bond a long time ago. Oh, I can't, I don't have my um, tablet in front of me or the computer. Ah, oh, I forget his name, but he's a Scottish actor or was because he passed away. He's all like, nobody calls him the Scottish James Bond. Yes, people do. <laughs> So I don't know where he's getting this from. Now, when it comes to labels, that's mostly the media and everything. And it's mostly other like celebrities and stuff. Because, you know, you don't see this associated with nothing else other than entertainers. People will say the first Mexican actor or the first like um, Japanese singer or like the first black model or something like that. They always associate it with entertainment. And they do that because I do agree with what he said. People should be based on their profession. It is their profession that gets them where they are and then makes other people want to be like them. When I was growing up, um, I watched this magic show, which I'm going to talk about in a couple of days. And I wanted to do magic because of that, you know, but I never did. And the dude who did the magic, he wasn't black, but I still wanted to do it. It's just people, they, when kids see things, they want to be on TV. It's because of who they see on TV. They don't see color. Color. However, uh, one of the things that one people people are trying to do now is make people see color and stuff, and it's because it's like it has to do with the whole woke culture thing, and it's because you don't see too many of us on TV back in the day. I have said this before. TV, all you saw was white people. If you saw people of color, they were a stereotype. And I'll get into that a little bit later because he brought that up, which is contradicting almost everything he's saying and stuff. And so, like, so I do get what he's saying. I do agree with him. Yes, people should base who you are as an actor based on your performance and how good you are. But the thing about saying oh this is the first black this or the first asian that or the first hispanic this it's like an added incentive it's like a badge of honor it's, it's something you're supposed to have pride in you know what i'm saying that you have come a very long way in a very segregated world that we live in when they did not want to give you opportunities and you rose to the top and then you see yourself high on that horse and you realize that, wow, I'm a, like whatever race this is. And I achieved something that was supposed to be the impossible. That is like, you know, why so many people say, oh, black actor, Mexican singer, um, like Sasha, um, who's playing the new Supergirl or was she's Mexican. People call her the Mexican Supergirl. And, you know, like the Black Mermaid, she's like, you know, um, they call her the Black Mermaid. And the new Snow White, they call her Mexican Snow White because we've never had that before. It was the first of an opportunity to have that. And people are taking prestige in that. Like, do you see what I'm saying here? And he doesn't see that. And he said he realizes he's going to be the first to do things that other people have not because of the way he looks. Um, but he doesn't want to be recognized as that. He doesn't want to be known as the first black anything and stuff like that. He says he wants to be known as the first Idris. 
And that's where the cockiness comes from in that ego. He has an ego like the rock <laughs> and everything. And, you know, but like I said before, it's like people, when they say, oh, you know, when they say this stuff, when they're a black actor or this, or somebody in the media says, you know, first black actress to win an Oscar and award, that is supposed to be an accomplishment and pride in knowing that they came that far. And there's nothing wrong with saying, oh, this person's a black actor or this and that, because it's, it's really just like, you know, an honor, but it's only with Hollywood. You don't hear other people say like, say like, I've been reading some stupid comments on Twitter. Somebody's like, oh, well, if you're a painter and you're a white or you're the first like white painter. No, people don't say dumb crap like that. And speaking of white, it's white people who started labeling people of their race. They've been doing it ever since they started bringing people of color into the country and stuff. And you know, so for him to say like people in Hollywood are obsessed with race and everything, man, that man does not act like British people ain't obsessed with it too. Have you ever heard of Meghan Markle? Prince William dated a white woman, married her, and uh, that Kate lady, and nobody said nothing. But when Harry married a half black woman, oh, it was an uproar and everything. People was pissed, even people in his own family. And therefore, yes, we still have a race problem in this world. And people are obsessed with race and you just can't like brush it away. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that country he's from, it's like one of the founding members on one of the most extreme racist countries there is <laughs> and stuff. And, you know, and so I do take uh, um, upridge um, with um, what he said about like not wanting to be the first black this or the first black James Bond. And he's literally said he would love to take the role and you can call him the sexiest James Bond, but don't call him the black James Bond. When he said that, that, that lets you know right there, he has some type of problem with black people. I don't know how far it goes because he does consider himself a black man and he's been married to three black women, but you can be a race and hate your own race. There are tons of people who do that. And there are tons of people who put their own races down. I mean, Candace Owen comes to mind. Raven Simone comes to mind. Terry Crews comes to mind. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, um, so he can be married to who, uh, a black woman all he wants, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have some kind of disdain towards them. Now he has a dress. He understands his blackness and he never once said he's not black. That's what he clarified in big, bold capital letters, but he already said that in the original statement. So I do believe he has some type of disdain towards like, you know, his own race. And there's nothing wrong with having disdain towards your race. You know, there are times where black people get on my nerves and I'm black and everything. And but pretty much everybody gets on my nerves. But you know, people have problems within their own community because no race is perfect. There are white people who have problems in their own race and stuff. There's this one actress from New Zealand I know. She is as white as white come. But she got mad at me when I said, you know, she's white. And she's like, don't you call me white. Like, I'm not white. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yo, your white color skin and your blonde hair. <laughs> but she's married to a man of color and everything. And so she has a problem with her own race. And the problem is she doesn't like how her race is so racist towards people of color. Because in New Zealand, they are racist there. And, you know... Now this brings me to my other topic of him as to why exactly he came to America. Oh, before I go into that, he said he didn't. Oh, actually, yeah, we'll get into the whole America thing. So one of the things a lot of people got upset with him about, they're all like, well, if you don't want to be called a black actor, then stop taking black roles from like black Americans and stuff. Now he is from England and everything. And he came on over to America to um, be in Hollywood. Why? Because he literally stated that there aren't that many roles for black people of like, you know, to be proud of where he's from. He doesn't want to play the best friend. He doesn't want to play the cop sidekick. He said that he saw the glass ceiling and nearly cracked his head open on it. And that's why he came over here to have more opportunities and stuff. But he said he didn't come to America to play black roles. He came to play roles. Now, I don't know exactly what he meant by that a long time ago, but now I can probably understand what he means by that. 
or to, well, to a certain degree I can. Like either he means he doesn't want to play a stereotypical role as um, a stereotype, like, oh, you know, the gangster, the drug dealer, um, you know, a thug type role, ghetto role, something like that, that a lot of black people get associated with when they get, they play in roles and stuff. Either he means that, or he just, once again, just doesn't want to be considered black anything, you know what I'm saying? And so, like, I do get it, like, because he said that, you know, because one of the reason why woke, so this is the thing that's funny, <laughs> all these people who scream woke, who are cheering him on now, they hated his behind when he was in the Thor first movie, because he played a character that is white in the comics, and they let him know that too, and what's funny about that, is that um ah, I lost my train of thought crap because <laughs> I went into the whole Thor thing because I wasn't finished saying what I was saying but um let's see he didn't want to take black roles um coming to America playing this and that um okay now I remember so all these people mainly white people all be screaming and woke and everything about Hollywood talking about like um it doesn't matter the color of your skin it's a it matters about like your acting profession and who's good at the role and oh you're taking our jobs and your race bending this and your gender bending that well here's the thing he said literally he doesn't want to play black roles he only want to play roles that he's good at so therefore if he plays a role that used to be a white character back in the day but he's good enough to play it then technically they're hating for no reason <laughs> and stuff because they talk about oh it's, it's not about like you know your race it's about your profession well if he's professional enough why did they get upset when he played a white character in that thor movie and everything and you know he has uh, people have gotten on to him about some ignorant things like the people who got mad at him playing um that thor character because it was a white character in the comments and he's black. Then somebody, I don't know who, got upset with him because they said Luther, the, the character he's best known for playing on that TV show in Britain, that um his character doesn't act black. Now I've watched the show. His character doesn't act like a stereotypical black person. He just acts like a regular person on the show. Like everybody, everybody has pretty much the same personality. Everybody is like just, a straightforward bland type character there's nothing to distinguish them they know you don't hear nobody playing music you don't see them going to the movies what kind of shows they watch what kind of cars they drive um it's just you know everybody's relative the same so people got upset talking about he's not black enough on the show but his character's not written like that and his character doesn't have to be because a lot of people always assume that if you do play a black role, you have to act like a stereotype. And, or better yet, you have to act ghetto. They assume you're like the cops from the Bad Boys movie or Rush Hour with Chris Tucker and everything. They assume a black cop has to act like that. But what people forget is when you watch these TV shows like cop shows and other stuff, black characters don't act like that. They act like just a regular, like average Joe type person. So he's always getting crapped on for stuff like that, which is probably why he has some type of disdain towards that of uh, black people now what's also interesting about him coming over to america to play these roles and everything um but he doesn't want to consider like being a black person because he said literally people in his country aren't giving the opportunities to people of color and he had to go make a press conference type thing and address that over in his country because they don't give people of color those opportunities like they give everybody else because tv is very white over there in all places of europe whether it's ireland england australia um New Zealand, all you see are white, 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 white. And when you do see a person of color, they are normally a stereotype. Like when I was watching the show Filthy Rich, all the people of color, well, actually everybody was a stereotype, but mainly the people of color and stuff. Like they had like the people who were brown color skinned and being like the thugs and everything. Um, you know, it was just like a lot of stereotypes going left and right. And, you know, so it's kind of like, wouldn't you want to be described as a black actor when your character doesn't act like a stereotype when he's playing Luther because he said he wants all kids of all races to see him and admire him not just the black 
kids. He made sure he said that. This is why I think he has a disdain towards black people. Cause you know, we don't know how he grew up. That's the thing. We really don't. And he might've had a rough time with black people. Cause I remember growing up myself, as like a teenager and stuff, the most racism I ever faced was actually from other black people as a teenager. But as I got older, I started experiencing more racism from like white people. So I have no idea how he grew up. But since his character plays a very like, you know, straightforward type man and not a stereotype, wouldn't he want people to emulize themselves seeing him and everything? You know what I'm saying? because that would make more sense, but he doesn't want to be considered a black actor. He doesn't want nobody putting that in the title role. And the thing is in the world we live in now, you hear that all the time, especially when you see like all these like female empowerment, they always say like they're a strong woman, this and that. And I've said before, the reason why they're doing that is to teach young people watching it and older people who are weak minded, who are not strong. And it's, it's like trigger words and everything you implant into your brain. So you think you will want that, like, you know, hearing, like hearing, having people hear that, especially younger people, so they can strive to want to be more like him. But he wants people to strive to be like Idris Elba and not that of a black man who is breaking barriers and everything. And that is mainly the one of the reasons why I was so disappointed. The reason why I was so disappointed is because like, you know, when I see him do these roles and he does an extremely good job, I'm all like, wow, this man is such a good actor. And then I'm all like, you know what? But not only is he a good actor, he's a black actor. And he's a black actor in a role that will would have went to like a white person. And not only that, but he's so good in the role, he can shut up all those hateful white people that are like talking about, oh, he doesn't deserve that role because you know he's replacing us and stuff like that. He shuts them up and everything. That's why I always look forward to seeing him in roles and why I took this so personally when he said this crap. Because now he is feeding in to the very same people who hated him a couple of years back but now those same people who was pissed at him are kissing his butt because they think he's taking down woke culture and think he's taking down black people and everything and they are literally happy and stuff there are people who have been commenting like crazy who are white and everything cheering him on making it they basically just restate everything he does but in their own way to make them sound all fancy and everything and then of course here comes the videos online and it's the same thing that avery brooks did who was um Ben, um, Benjamin Sisko on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. He said he does not want to be considered the first black captain in Star Trek, but that is what he is. He was the first black actor to play a black captain in his own Star Trek series. And he doesn't want to be acknowledged by that. Kate Mulgrew, who was the first female actress to play a Star Trek captain, I think she loves it and everything like she loves being told that because she has literally said that when she goes to conventions that lots of um women come up to her and said i became like an astronaut because of you i became a doctor because of you i've joined the military because of you because you were my role model and that's the thing about idris elba he is a role model whether he wants to be or not and he's gonna be a role model to all races, but he's mainly gonna be a role model to young black kids and other black people and stuff. Because it's like, it's unintentional role modelness. Like I remember a long time ago, I can't remember who it was. It was either Miley Cyrus, Bella Ram, no, not Bella Ramsey, Bella Thorne. We got my Bellas messed up. Bella Thorne or Jeanette McCready. And when it comes to Bella Thorne and Miley Cyrus, they had the cookie cutter Disney Channel image because that's what Disney put for them. See, long time ago, Disney realized something. People are latching on to their stars. So they started to form their own stars. Made them wear purity rings, made them talk about drugs and alcohol is bad. But deep down inside, those same stars that said it was wrong doing that was getting their freak on <laughs> when the cameras wasn't rolling. They was drinking, they was doing drugs, they were having sex, and they were doing all kind of stuff and dressing very provocative. Then when they left Disney Channel, they went very buck wild. And I think it was Jeanette. She's not that buck wild. She was actually more tame, but she 
got some photos that got leaked and everything. And she literally said, I'm not a role model. I did not strive to be a role model. It was either her or one of the other girls. And it's because it's an intentional role model. She didn't strive to be a role model. She became one because of who she played. And that's how Idris Elba is. He is literally a role model to people. And he is literally just like putting... I don't know. He's not necessarily putting them down. It's just that... He doesn't seem to care because he literally said if your prerogative is being called a black actor, that's fine with you and everything. And it's like, you know, so he's literally saying that if you're okay with being called black, that's fine. But he is not. And he's going to keep his stance on it. And it's like, I don't understand who in the world was putting him in this box because nobody I've seen ever put him in a box. Every time I've ever seen people talk about him, they always say he's a good actor. I've never seen them put race in front of his name. Unless he's the one who's doing it and living in La La Land like Raven Simone and everything. The only time they ever said black this is because of the whole James Bond thing. Because there's never been a black James Bond. And people really want him to play that role. And honestly, now, like, if he doesn't want to be considered that prestige honor, don't give him that role. And somebody said online, well, if he doesn't like being called a black actor, stop taking black roles from black Americans and stuff. And I kind of agree. Go back to England, <laughs> you know, and get back your stereotypical roles of playing like the best friend and the cop sidekick if you don't want to be considered a black actor. Well, he said, you know, he didn't come to America to take black roles. He didn't come to America. He also said, like, you know, he didn't become an actor because he didn't see people like him. And this is the part that he's contradicting again. He said he did not become an, an actor because he did not see black people on TV. He did it because he loved the profession, but yet he talked to his own people about having more diversity on TV because there's a lack of it and everything. And the reason why he came to America was to get those roles and stuff. So I, I don't know what's going on in that man's head. And it really does make me look at him differently now because apparently there is some kind of disdain in his heart toward the black society and everything. And it's quite a shame. And, you know, all he is is being a tool for people who want to go back to the 1950s and stuff. And, you know, woke culture is going to die out in Hollywood because it's not working. Movies and TV shows are flopping. If they make a predominantly race show, that predominantly race isn't really watching that show. If they make an LGBT show, it's not doing that well. And it's because the writing is not that good and the direction is not that good and stuff. It's not the acting or the cast. Because a lot of people think it's the cast. It's not the cast. It's the people behind the camera who literally are new or somewhat new and don't know what the world they are doing. And networks are starting to get pissed about that. And they're starting to go back to the old ways again and stuff. And it's quite a shame. Because the whole thing about what culture is, give, or in Hollywood that is, is giving people of um, diversity opportunities they've never had before and i just don't like how idris is just kind of like you know like just pissing on that and everything because he knows for a fact there isn't much people like him where he's from on tv and he's trying to change that he said it's gonna take time but the change is coming but he doesn't want to acknowledge what that change is he just wants everybody to be grouped in the same group but it's never gonna work because society is not ready for that yet Billions of years from now, there's still going to be a race issue in the world. It just is. It, it, I mean, it's been that way since people came on this earth and everything and started hating on one another and started seeing people who look differently than him and differently from themselves and stuff. And the worst part is he did this during Black History Month. He did that. He made a point to do that during this month. 
knowing that, you know, this is supposed to be a celebration for black people because not too many people know much about black history because they don't want to teach the proper meaning of it in schools. And especially now they don't because people are trying to dismiss that in classes and stuff. How are you going to have black people in a classroom, but don't want to teach black history and have black books? You only want to give them the white ones and teach them white history, which a lot of white history is false. Anyway, take George Washington. He didn't have wooden teeth. He ripped the teeth out of his slaves and put it in his mouth. That is the history they don't want you to know. Paul Revere did not ride on a horse all stinking night saying the British is coming. He got tired, supposedly, and had somebody else do it. Who? I don't know, but that's what I heard and read and stuff. And, you know, same thing with Columbus and everything. Supposedly, he wasn't the one who pointed to the country like, oh, that's America and everything. Supposedly, it was somebody else on his ship and everything. History is flawed and everything. And, you know, I don't get this. Is, this man will take whatever black role he'll get and he'll be happy because it's paying his bills, but he doesn't want to be acknowledged as that. And there are so many other black American actors who would love to have his job, but he's taking them, which is funny because people also gave him hate about that, saying that so many black British people are coming over taking black roles. Now, here's the thing it's not black British people, it's all British people. Almost every Batman we've ever had, no, I'll take that back, not Batman, Spider-Man. Almost every Spider-Man we've had has been British. There's only been one American Spider-Man in a movie, and that's Tobey Maguire. The other two are British. Henry Cavell is Brit uh, Australian, I think, and he was Superman. And, you know, it's like, seriously, all these like European people are taking like all these like, you know, American acting jobs. And so people gave him um, crap for that. But that's not his fault. And it's not black British people fault. It's just a British thing in general. So I think, I don't know. So I think all these reporters and all this and that have probably been crapping on him about his blackness to the point where he's just like, screw it. I don't want to be in that box no more. Because, like, if you're going to associate me with all this hate, why do I want to be in that box? And that's probably what happened in everything. That's literally probably what happened. Is all these people kept dumping on him and he didn't do nothing. Like the white people who got mad at him for that Thor movie. He's all like, well, it's being in this black box is, like, bad and I don't want to be in it and stuff. And... That's a shame. He allowed other people to dictate how he feel about those black roles and stuff. I just don't understand this man. Like it's 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 weird. They always show their true colors when they get okay. Once he started getting more acting jobs, bigger acting roles, he got bigger paydays and stuff. And now that he got the big money, now he can talk all that crap. So I am disappointed. I am very disappointed in him. I don't like hate him. Say like Raven Simone. I hate Raven Simone. And I hate Rose McGowan. <laughs> and there's a couple other people in Hollywood I hate too, like Kevin Sorbo and everything. But like him, I don't hate. I'm just very disappointed. And I'm hurt, you know what I'm saying? Because I do look up to him, not only as an actor, but as a black actor. Because like I said before, he's slaying it on screen and he's doing it and he's not white. That's the thing. He's not white. These roles he's having would have went to white people, but he is proven as a black actor. I'm going to call him a black actor that he is doing it better than they can do it and stuff. And he just doesn't see that because he doesn't want to see that. So I don't think everybody's obsessed with race. Like he said, I think he's more obsessed with it, but he's more obsessed with the negativity of it all. And he's lashing out on it and distinguishing himself from it. It's almost like he is, like some people have literally said he doesn't want to be black. I don't think that's the case. At least I hope it's not the case. But whatever the case is, he needs to truly figure out. He needs to look into the mirror and sit down and have a long chat inside his head about how he wants to move forward with this because all he's doing is being a tool for all those white people online who scream woke and people of color are replacing us and we don't want to be associated with people of color because this is our country and not theirs. That is literally who he is feeding into and this fool does not realize that. Alrighty, well I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.